I just want to add here that I am working on my, what I call Rudolph the wine bag. <laughs> it is from QLUO shop. And I will link the website down below. They are offering my fanatics 20% off if you use the code Michelle. I will link it all in the description box for you guys. Let's get on with true crime story time. Hello fanatics, welcome to Diamond Painting Fanatics. I am Cindy and we are here for a true crime story time. I have a really sinister, disturbing case for you today. We are going way back in time where things were very different. But murder is still murder. This is the story of Hilda Nilsson. She is a Swedish serial killer from Helsingborg. Who became known as the Angel Maker on Brocks Street. She is one of Sweden's most notorious female serial killers. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's get into her background because I don't like to spoil the story too much. Hilda and her husband Gustav lived in Helsingborg in Sweden. The couple had amassed large debts and needed a way to pay their bills. As a way to raise cash, Hilda cared for infants in return for money from unmarried mothers who needed their help. At that time, having a child outside of marriage was a shameful moral crime and caring for these children for a fee which is known as baby farming was common practice. Hilda kept her home in a good clean condition which made mothers more willing to leave their unwanted children in their care. However the small sums of money that she received was far from what she needed to support all the children she had agreed to look after, as well as paying off her own debts that her and her husband have amassed over this time period. So she began taking in children from these mothers who often had children in secret because it was such um, a shame on the community to be, you know, having a child out of wedlock. Um, and then they would often drop the children off at Hilda's, pay the fee up front, and then they would either leave town, start again, um, and just kind of move on from having the child thinking that the child was in good care um, and would be well looked after so in their minds they were doing leaving their children um, with Hilda so I'm guessing by now you probably know where this story is heading Hilda murdered the children she took care of shortly after their mothers left them in her care. This was possible because authorities rarely knew of the baby's existence. Furthermore, the mothers almost never wanted to come back to learn how their children were doing. One method 
Hilda used for murdering the children was to put them into a wash tub and then place heavy objects such as a washboard or a coal scuttle on top of them. She then left the room and returned hours later when the children had passed. The next step in her plan was to burn their bodies. On occasions when she did not burn them, she dug graves and buried them. Pretty disgusting. Hilda was different from other baby farmer child killers of that time in that she actively killed the children. Most others simply left the children with insufficient food or in unhealthy living conditions which led to their death. And this is um, another thing. When I was looking into this, this case, um, it was common for children to die in the baby farming foster mother, as we would call them now, I guess. Not that foster mothers do this kind of thing anymore. But the children, I use quotation marks, died naturally just through starvation or, I mean, that's cruel, but, you know, um, they, did, they didn't actively murder the children like Hilda's doing. Hilda's crimes were discovered when Blenda Henriksen wanted to contact her child. When Hilda refused contact, Brenda asked the police to investigate. The police soon found ample of incriminating evidence of the murders. Hilda was sentenced to death by guillotine, but before the punishment could be carried out, she committed suicide by hanging on the 10th of August in 1917. She was the last death penalty prisoner in Swedish history whose sentence wasn't commuted. She took her own life. There, I mean, death by guillotine, wow. I mean, I have no real opinions on this case. It is absolutely disgusting and... It's not often we hear about a female serial killer. And Hilda killed infants left in her care. I do wonder because obviously the documentation and everything going back to 1917 is not what it is now. But where was her husband in all of this? Did he know? He wasn't charged, but did he know? Was he looking the other way and kind of letting her get on with it? Makes you wonder, doesn't it? There's nothing on Gustav. Couldn't find anything on him. But there you go. This is the case of Hilda Nielsen from Sweden. Thank you for joining me, guys. I appreciate your company as always. Please do leave your thoughts and comments down below. I love interacting with you and, yeah, very sad. Very sad for all those children and it took one mum. Oh, there was something else I, I must add. They believe, the police believe because we don't know how many children she actually murdered, but it's believed to be about 17, but she was only charged with eight. And it took Blender to come forward and say, where's my child? And she began to panic and 
feel like, oh, you can't see the child because the child is poorly. Oh, you you can't see the child because, um, I don't know, they're at school or something. I, she kept making excuses and none of it was making sense. So the mum went to the police and said, look, can you just help me find my child because I'm here to pick my child up and she's acting weird. So there you go. Um, I forgot to add that in. So thank you so much for keeping me company. As always, thoughts and comments down below, please. I love interacting with you. And yeah, let me know. And I shall see you very, very soon. Stay safe out there. Bye.